Al Soto here with Click On This here at Charles Theater, the historic Charles Theater for the big screening of this man's film right here, Masse. Jay Taylor here. How's it going, Jay? Really good. Thank you. Fantastic screening, I must say. A tremendous film, tremendous effort. You are the writer, director, producer. You are a man of many hats. Not producer, but editor. Okay. Um, but yes, I, uh, I served many roles in the production of this film. And, uh, you know, it, it was a love child, I guess you could say, in some <laughs> ways. You find it a little overwhelming to have so much responsibility for the film. Uh, at times. You know, there, there are times when you have a firm focus on exactly what's in front of you, and then there are other times where it's just the enormity of it sometimes, you know, unbalances you a little bit. And what was uh, the inspiration for this script, for the screenplay? Uh, well, a lot of things. I mean, I'm a fan of, like, the, the Hustler, obviously, is a big influence on it. Uh, I kind of like the old, you know, kind of, it, it has, like, a little bit of the old detective feel to it, you know, kind of the old noir piece and stuff. And I wanted I wanted it to be kind of a little bit of the wisecracking tar characters, you know, fun, the romance gone wrong, little pool playing in there. You know, just, uh, it, it's a lot of topics that I was interested in, and I gelled it into a script, and my producer and wife, Courtney, helped me, uh, you know, refine the edges, so to speak, and, uh, you know, it, uh, it was good to see it all come together. Yeah, fantastic uh, crew and cast that have been assembled for this project. In fact, Johnny and Lonzo doing a tremendous job in your lead role. Oh, yeah. I can't say enough about Johnny. I mean, he, <laughs> he came in and, uh, you know, just embraced the role right from the get-go, had a really solid understanding of what the character is, and was fantastic to work with, you know. Uh, let's talk a little bit. Of, you said the noir uh, feel for it because I, I really liked the kind of the vintage feel. Yeah, the the vintage cars used and uh, and it really had that that throwback feel in some scenes. Mm -hmm. the The idea was for the two main characters, the Jack and Sarah characters, for both of them to have a little bit of a classic, you know, kind of fifties, sixties feel to them, while the world around them was a little bit more modern. So it was kind of these two characters a little out of place in time, reliving a classic tale in a modern setting. So. Well, we just got out of the screening. I thought it was a tremendous film, Jay. Um, your next project you st in the works already? Uh, we have a couple scripts that we're working on. Uh, obviously, we have a lot of promotion and marketing to do on, you know, Mass A. Go as far as, can as we can with it. Um, but we have a couple scripts, uh, a couple sci-fi things that we want to wow. do. Sci-fi. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You know. So, uh, yeah, it's, you know, I... I just like to throw the challenges out there and tackle them as best I can. Uh, so I'm not sure exactly which one of those is going to be the next piece, but uh, it won't be long before I have an answer for that question. <laughs> I saw in the movie poster it's rated NR, so I, I might tend to agree that this one is not for the kids, right? No, no, I, w I would expect this would be a pretty solid R-rated movie. Um, it was always kind of intended to be, you know. Um, there was a lot of talk about some of the stuff in it, and I wanted it to be kind of in your face, and I wanted it, you know, and that's what we got. So it's, you know, it's not for the kids. Right. And of course, the official website for Masse? Massefilm.com. Right on. Check it out. Massefilm.com here with Jay Taylor. More of the cast and crew here. We'll click on this at the Masse screening here at Charles Theater. Take it away.